Hello everyone, this video is a very short preview of the core features available in the Cruise Infrastructure Management Software. If you're looking for a robust, feature-rich, single pane of glass to manage your entire infrastructure, Cruise is definitely worth a closer look. The product can be installed on a single server on Windows, Linux, or as a virtual appliance. The product scales from management of a few elements up to thousands, and there are also high availability options available. The product is competitively priced, subscription model, and it's based on the number of devices under management, and it comes in one, three, and five year subscriptions. It's also worth noting that all core features are included in the software suite at no additional cost, so there's a lot of value provided at a very reasonable cost. The software is also multi-vendor. It can manage switches, routers, firewalls, wireless controllers, APs, Linux servers, Windows servers, storage devices, virtual devices, VMware, basically anything with an IP address across many, many vendors. Let's start off by looking at alarms and events. All events um, are presented in an easy to read screen. This includes internal as well as external events and syslogs. There's an easy to read portlet with right click actions that allow you to do a variety of actions uh, concerning your alarm such as acknowledging, clearing, and assigning to other users. Out-of-the-box performance dashboards provide a quick view into potential problem areas in your network. Here we see KPIs such as CPU and memory and a variety of monitored interface metrics. Uh, traffic flow analysis supports all flow types, C flow, J flow, net flow, IP fix, Etc. Traffic patterns can easily be seen over time, and you have the ability to isolate by app, protocol, conversation, uh, endpoint, and more. You can easily drill into a specific traffic flow and identify the exact source or destination of a particular protocol or application. Topology is customizable, and once discovery is complete, you'll see managed devices layer two, layer three links, and any associated alarms for devices and links. With one click options, you can drill into each to get more detail. The resource tab is a central area to manage your devices with simple right click options. Configuration management provides a central, central single console to manage backup, config, restore, and firmware deployment. You can also track changes and be alerted uh, when a device configuration file has changed. Here you see alarms related to configuration files and image repositories for firmware deployment. In the compliance area, you can use existing policies or create your own policies that will be used to scan your infrastructure and when the policy fails, you'll emit an alarm if, the, if that condition is not met. You can even create remediation actions to proactively correct any outer compliance condition. In automations and actions, you can use pre-built scripts to, or create your own custom scripts. There's a variety of scripts that you can create. And these can be applied to single or groups of devices. Under automation and event rule processing, you can use these to automate just about any um, action in response to an internal or external event. Finally, there are many pre-built reports that provide data on inventory assets, hardware, software change, and much more, including performance and TFA data, and trend, comparison, or even table reports. All data collected in Cruise is exposed to attributes that can easily be pulled into custom reports through the use of report templates. Okay, that's a very brief overview of the major features available in Cruise. Thank you for watching.